Well, it is Wednesday night Bible study. I look forward to this time. I enjoy going through the word of God with you. You know, whenever you get into the word, it always brings information, inspiration. Let me tell you, and it will go into revelation. I'm telling you, people of God, if you will allow those three basics to hit your world, oh my goodness, you'd be surprised what God will do as a result thereof. Yes, he will. So get your Bibles, get your pads, get your pencils, your paper, get your devices. Let's go in the word of God. Got several scriptures here tonight that I want you to have that you need to really pulverize, go through. When you start talking about the blessing of double, you need to really have information from the word of God that will inspire you in those times that the enemy uh -huh, comes against you. Yeah. Yeah. That, that flood from the enemy, the spirit of God, and lift up a standard, it comes from us having the information from the word of God that will inspire us. We'll get inspired when you dare to apply the information from the word in times of attack, of trouble, in times of comfort. Just applying it in your daily life. It will bring revelation from on high. Oh my God, great and mighty things will happen. Let's look at Luke, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse. I want to look at it from the Amplified Bible. And then from that, we're going to skip over to Isaiah 61. But let's start right here. Luke uh, 4, verses 16 through 21. And I'm just going to, I'm going to just take a bit out of it. It said, to proclaim the acceptable and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely about oh my goodness that's that's good isn't it and 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 uh, i sort of started there and pulled that out of those uh five verses because even in reading the five verses it's like there's some more some more so it talks about how isaiah was talking so let's go over to isaiah 61 and we're going to look back to the writings of isaiah and let's see if there's anything else that we need to know okay because right after this in Luke, it says that the very next verse, it says he closed the book, which means that probably there's something he didn't read that was written already, already been written that he didn't read there. He's reading from Isaiah. So let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah 61. And if you look at verses one through seven in the Amplified, I'm going to give you all the verses, but I'm going to read uh, a portion out of it. Okay. And it says, Instead of your former shame, you shall have a twofold recompense. Oh my God. Somebody said double. They should, then you're going down. I picked another snippet out. They shall possess double what they had forfeited. Ooh, come on, come on with me now. <sighs> Enter into the blessing of double. That's what we're on tonight. All right. So. We see here, part of our covenant inheritance is to move into the blessing of double. Yeah, it's in the word of God. So that belongs to you and I. That's part of our covenant inheritance. Okay, look at verse 9, Isaiah 61 and 9. Amplified, I'm in the Amplified. All who see them in their prosperity will recognize and acknowledge that they are the people whom the Lord hath blessed. <laughs> That's shouting right there. That, that, that right there. Oh, those are some shouting words right there. <laughs> Woo! All them that see their prosperity will recognize and acknowledge that they are the people whom the Lord hath blessed. It makes me remember. How with David, the people were looking on at the prosperity and they said, surely, who the Lord, who have really blessed them. And David, and the people of God answered, surely, yes, the Lord have definitely blessed us. <laughs> I'm so glad. You know what? Uh, God, according to these scriptures, God does not consider us prosperous, you and I, until you've entered into the blessing of double. Yeah, 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 yeah. and and. and to fail to get the double is you violating the covenant right that you have. It belongs to you, but we have to possess it. 
God will show us what to do. Oh, yes. Matter of fact, from the scriptures, which I'm going to bring out tonight, if you don't enter into the devil when you're following God's way of doing things, when you're getting on God's system, you got to get on his system. All right. You got to align yourself up with God's system. What are you talking about? He has a tithing system, his giving system. For God so loved the world that he gave. Okay? So you've got to begin to, to enter into the, the blessing of the devil. Or God considers us an unprofitable servant. I'm going to show it to you in scripture now. Let's go to Matthew chapter 25. Verses 14 through 30. Now, you write that down, and you're going to read that, you know, this week. You read that. It's going to bless you. I'm going to go through and pull some out and to show you what I'm saying from the Word of God. And, and you'll see that in these verses about talents, they are actually about the devil. Because many times, you know, you'll get off on the fact, why did he give that one five? And why did he give that one two? And why did he only give that one one? And then, da, 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 da. and they're different different perspectives that people go in with these scriptures. But I want to show you how the foundation of this is the devil. That is, that's what you have to get inspired and receive revelation concern. When you get this information, it's about the devil. Okay. Look at verse 18. Look, he hid his Lord's money. Talk about the one that didn't profit. See, if, if you study verses 14 through 30, you're going to find out that it says that the kingdom of heaven, that's why I love this, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story. See what I'm saying? This is all scripture. This isn't something that I'm prospectively trying to pull you into. This is from the word of God that I want you to see this that God is saying unto us concerning the blessing of double, the blessing of double. See, this whole year, we're, it, as you operate in these principles of God, you're going to see the supernatural manifestation of God's favor in your life. Okay, so you, you're going to find out here how in these scriptures here, it says that story of a man going on a long trip. He called his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave unto one five talents. He gave unto another two. And he gave unto another one. Okay, and he said he had divided it in, it in proportion of their abilities. All right, and that's a whole nother perspective, a whole nother message right there. Uh-huh, but we're talking about entering into the blessing of double tonight. So he divided it among them according to their abilities. You know, some people just can't handle God's blessings because you, you won't continue to be obedient to him concerning it. But that's a whole nother pathway. Let's stick with what... God has given me for you tonight, entering into the blessing of double. And then it goes on, and it talks about he left on his trip, and then after a time that he was gone, while he was gone, there was some that invested the money. It's talking about investment. It's talking about where you put your money it's to, uh -huh, in order to receive the double. I love these verses as I was reading it here. You see, as you study that out, it lets you know the man with five talents doubled his. The man with two talents doubled his. All right. However, the man with one talent did nothing with his talent. In other words, he didn't experience double. Okay. The one with five, when he came back off his trip, the one with five gave him ten. The one with two gave four. The one with one hit, hit his in the ground. And he had done nothing with it. He didn't experience double. You know, God will allow us, he will bless us to see what we're going to do with it. He will bless us to see if we're going to be obedient and move in kingdom principles with it. And so the man that didn't experience double, he called him wicked, slothful, and unprofitable. Let's look at those three words. Wicked, slothful, and unprofitable. Wicked means willfully disobedient. Willfully disobedient. Slothful means negligence to apply the required kingdom principles of increase. Lord have mercy. Again, it says the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated. Oh, illustrated by the story of this man mm -hmm, going on a long trip. 
And he called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. And so he began to divide it out according to abilities. Oh, my goodness. I, I sure want God to know that he can trust me. He can trust me. And he does it through increments. God will bless you. See what you're going to do with it. Bless some more. Some people, hey, they walk in trust all along the way and then get off. Right on the end, we see that with the story of Aesop. That happens with people. This 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 happens in the lands of people when God bless them and God they get where they think they've arrived and then all of a sudden they stop receiving from God. They got the information, they was inspired, obeyed the information, and then when revelation came, hey, they didn't move on into that. They didn't move on into the greater things that God had, because God had another level for them. So they hid. Verse 18. This one, he hid it. And God called him wicked. He called him willfully disobedient. Called him slothful because he his negligence to apply the principles of the kingdom of God of increase. All right? Uh, God has a system. He has a system. system. Then he called him unprofitable. It means of no useful purpose. Jesus. Whew. Then drop down to verse 27. Thou art therefore to have. Uh, you look at those verses right there. He just, he just showing what, 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 you know, God is forever teaching us. He's forever giving us wisdom, what we should have done. You know, he said, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. See, in other words, he said, at the least, something would have come back to you. But, but he said, with my principle, double, entering into the blessing of the double, I have not seen, ear have not heard. I will bring you increase in ways that this world don't even know. God has so many ways to bless us, to increase us, to bring us to that place of uh, the blessing of the devil. God has a way to do it that will blow your mind, that doesn't add up to the to the world system, but with God's system. Uh huh. The kingdom of heaven. I love this. That's why I keep saying it. The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by this story. God's system is the best system to tithe, to give offerings, to, to give spontaneously, give systematically, giving sacrificially, you see, strategically. God has a system that when we obey him and do it the way that God says do it, the blessings will just come in. I got testimonies all around me. It's phenomenal what God does. And I'm telling you, we're entering into a season. Oh, Entering into the blessing of the devil. This is a set task that God has. Oh my God. To really pour out from the obedience of operating in the principles of kingdom increase. God is ready. God is ready to bless us. Okay. This is what God is saying to him. When he said, you should have at least took it to the bank. I got a little bit off of it. If you're going to operate with the world, take it to the world the way the world does. He said, but if you got it with my system. The kingdom of heaven, heaven is illustrated through this that's being done here. If you've gotten with my system, my God, that's what he's saying. Therefore, go and and then in, in other words, this is what I expected you to do. This is this is you, you've been informed, you had the inspiration, you've seen me move. I, I want to reveal unto you the, the blessing of the double, the blessing of double, walking in double. <laughs> you know, God is telling us it's high time for us to get it. For us to move into the fullness of what belongs to you. It's high time for you to begin to receive what God has for you. To move into that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that's by using his kingdom principles of increase. That's the way it happens. You must use the kingdom principles of increase. I'm not telling you theory. I'm telling you from practice. I know God's way works. I know that it works. God is moving on your behalf, even when it looks like you see nothing. I'm telling you, God is turning it around. God is exchanging, oh, and heavily exchanged. God is fixing things, working behind the scenes on your behalf. He couldn't do anything with that money in the ground. No, but that when they gave him 10, that when they gave him four, uh, double what he had put into their hands when he came back. They had been using kingdom principles. This is what God is saying because he said the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated. So there's an illustration here about using God's kingdom. It'll double. You enter into the blessing of a devil. God will show you where to put your money. I'm telling you, he will show you what to do in order for it to increase. God will show you what to invest in. He will show you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He will reveal unto you the right markets to go into. That's the kind of God he is. God is saying it's high time. It's high time for us, for
for you and me. It's high time for you to move into the fullness of what belongs to you. Mm. You can do more for God and you can be more useful to his kingdom when that happens. Then you're able to flow and do and be obedient to him where he will what? Bring in even more. See, that's how it works. <laughs> Get rid of that conservative thinking. Get rid of that conservative thinking. You're not helping God by being conservative. Not at all. Mm -mm. Start believing in double in everything you do. Start believing in double. It works. Hmm. Every time Satan steals something, you need to demand not less than double back. Recompense. Mm -hmm. A twofold. At least. That's what happened to Job in Job 42 and 10. It says the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. See, he had entered into the blessing of double. Huh. You've been limiting God too long. You got to stop limiting God. He doesn't care what it costs for us to get this gospel to the nation. Amen. Glory to God. God can afford every bit of it. Amen. Whatever you have need of, okay. Hey, it shall be done. God, God can afford it all. It's time for you to begin to stretch. It's time for you to begin to enlarge. And it's time for you to spare not. Stretch, enlarge, spare not. Glory to God. The word spare. See, all that is in here in uh, Isaiah. Hallelujah. See, the word spare means to get along without. To give up the use of. And you know, I'm telling you right now, so many, so many of you have gotten along without long enough. Long enough. It's time for you to enter into the blessing of double. Okay? You got to stop being satisfied with where you are. God has more. I, I don't care if, you, if you're comfortable where you are. You can't be comfortable. God got more right there. There's more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Stop saying that I've got enough. Or stop saying the ministry is big enough. Or, oh, God can just keep it like this. Oh, yeah, there, there's some small minds like that will say that within your ministry. But I'm telling you right now, that's not the mind of Christ. No, 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 no. The kingdom of heaven can be likened unto this illustration. God is showing you the blessing of the devil in this. And Jesus will never be satisfied until we have touched the entire world with the gospel. And tonight, I'm telling you, this is a covenant promise. This is a blessing that belongs to us, entering into the blessing of the devil. You must see this in Matthew here that is talking to us out of Matthew 25, verses 14 through 30. The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by this story of the blessing of the devil. That that God has given you, you got to, you can't be conservative with it. You got to release it when God says release it. And the amount that he says release. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. You've got to stop having that limited mentality and begin to let the Holy Spirit flow. If you will allow him to do that, I'm telling you right now, whatever you're doing right now, believe in double. Mm. And then next year, God will have fulfilled that and believe in double again. <laughs> can you handle it? God can handle it. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, glory to God. If you think it, then God can go far above and beyond what you think. Believe in the double. Believe what God can do and will do. It is a covenant right. It's a covenant promise for you. Glory to God. Enter into the blessing of the double. God bless you. Come on here. Give God some praise. Give him some praise. I've given you enough to chew on right there. That right there is enough for you to chew on and for you to receive right now from the Lord because God is ready to do the double in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is ready to bring increase and move you out of that conservative thinking. Glory to God. Move into the greatness of God. The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by this story. Matthew 25, 14 through Oh, come on, give God blessing. Give him the praise. The devil is in the atmosphere. Glory to God. The double blessing is in the atmosphere. Oh, hallelujah. Let me give you another little tidbit because I'm through now. I got I to gotta move on. That's why I, I, I stopped right there. Enough for you to eat. 
if you will take this information, read it, hear what the Lord is saying concerning entering the blessing of double. If you will receive this information, allow it to inspire you when you read it concerning entering into it. Get rid of that conservative thinking. If you will do it, God will give you revelation how you can take what you have right now, operate in kingdom principles, and see God bring a return. And like never before, the double, enter into the double. If you will do that, there are four steps. I gave you three. Information, inspiration, revelation. What's the fourth? Transformation. God will transform your life. Huh? And you'll find yourself entering into the blessing of double. <laughs> over and over and over and over and over. As long as you receive it, God will keep doing it. Throw it at God. Because if you can think it, ooh, God can do above and beyond that. Oh, come on. Give God glory. Give him praise. Give him the glory. Give him praise. I, I tell you, it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. I'm going to stop. Oh, yes, you eat that right there. Oh, and I tell you, that will bless your life tremendously. Oh, praise God. Praise God. I want you to give in obedience tonight. I want you to obey God. Give that that God is saying do. Do it the way that God says do it. You know, the Bible tells us we don't want to enter before the Lord empty. God have allowed you to be here. Let's give. Amen. God is blessing in this hour for us to just turn around and give back unto him. Take these scriptures tonight. Begin to operate in kingdom principles of increase and see God do it. You've got the opportunity right now to start. If you haven't done it before, start now. If you have been doing it, get rid of conservative thinking. Obey completely. Glory to God. And if you have done it, you've been obeying completely, let me tell you, watch God. Oh, he's going to say, oh, I can trust you. Just like the, the, the ones with the four and the five talents. Mm -hmm. He took the five, made it ten. He took the two and made it four. What did he tell each one? He said, enter into my joy. Well done. You did well. Enter into my joy. You read, read another translation. It says, oh, well done. You can be my partner. <laughs> Woo! Wouldn't it be wonderful having God as your partner? Oh, I got to stop. It just keeps flowing. It keeps flowing. Give. Give. And it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure you use, it will be measured back unto you. Luke 6 and 38. God is so good. Oh, it's just flowing. It's flowing because I live by this. It's not theory. It is practice in my life. I live by it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Giving systematically. Giving spontaneous. Giving strategically. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When you do it, God will bless you and giving sacrificially. Oh, glory to God. The kingdom principles of increase. It's time to enter into the double. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>